Hello everyone and welcome back to Northern Norway, to Tromsø, uh, a different place, not too far away from the, the one I was a couple of days ago, uh, but a different place. I am um, down the, the, the hill, down the, 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 the Tromsø Island, uh, next to the airport. I'm going to turn the camera so you can see, that's the Tromsø Island, that's the airport, just like where it's green. and. So the city of Tromsø is sitting on, on that island. The mountains on the other side, it's the continent, uh, Norway. I mean, I'm in Norway here, but I'm on an island. And then on the other side of the fjord here, you've got Valoya, which is another island, bigger, bigger island. More, I mean, wild compared to Tromsø, which is mainly a city. Uh, but still you have some in, uh, habitation and some people living on, on the other side because I mean when you cross the bridge you can reach uh, Kvaloya but that's also a place I'm going quite often because I'm taking a lot of pictures there the landscapes are beautiful I mean as I said more wild and um, but amazing places uh, as you see I mean there is a plane coming in so it might be a little bit noisy uh, until that flight has landed, probably the flight coming maybe from, from Oslo uh, because that's an ACS fly, flight. So I'm gonna just film that because you can see that the plane are really landing nearby here and it might be a little bit noisy as I said. Yeah, here we go. Eagle has landed. Okay, so let's wait for, for the noise. As you can see, I mean today uh, there is, I mean the the weather is not that nice. I mean compared to the best standards of weather we could expect. But I mean that's typical uh, weather for northern Norway at that time of the of the year. Uh, still, it's really beautiful. Massive clouds, bit of rain, actually some heavy rain coming in there, and beautiful fjord a few minutes ago there were some also lights uh, coming through the the clouds just lighting up the, the mountains there I took some pictures of that uh, and I will show them on my social media uh, as soon as I can post that video and what I wanted to talk about today is to how to guide people inside a picture so I can have a, a landscape like that one third for the foreground, two thirds for the sky because the sky is beautiful and really structured. I can have the contrary, one third for the sky and two thirds for the foreground. And as you can see on the foreground, there are rails. And that is what I was looking for. Those rails are, are gonna help me to guide you inside the image. So I could compose my image like that. So two thirds for the foreground, one third for the, for the sky, but then the the rails look a little bit far away and don't really, I mean, yeah, they guide you in a, in a way, but not really in the, the way I want. So I went down a bit here and here you go. And I have one third for the sky, two thirds for the foreground. But those rays are really guiding me inside the image. And that's what I was looking for. So then I had several options. I could compose a picture a bit like that so guiding you from bottom left to the center of the image or from bottom right to the center of the image but because those rays are really symmetric I composed my image that way so one third for the sky two thirds for the foreground and really symmetric for the rails so you really have the feeling that you can enter the image and I can tell you a story because those rails um, I mean, they're old now, they're not in use anymore, uh, they're a bit rusted, but um, they were supposed to bring, to help, to bring the, the boats and the equipments into the fjord. Uh, so that's what I want to tell you, that's what I want to, to express, and that's what I want to, to explain to you, that, I mean, how those rails were used, and to do that, I need to be inside and symmetric and to guide you inside the image so you're when you're looking at, at it you, you have the feeling that you can really enter the landscape and as you can see my camera is here I'm not going to show you right now the kind of pictures I took because actually uh, I'm taking a time-lapse uh, but you have an idea 
My tripod is set up quite low. Uh, I have a small tripod also to, tell, to take some pictures with my iPhone, but now I mean you, I'm using it to take the video. So the tripod is set up quite low, so I have that kind of view here, really at the level of the rails. Uh, once again, I didn't want to take something like that because it would have been too far away and it wouldn't have helped me to bring you inside the image. So I'm really set up quite low to try to compose that image, respecting the, the, the rule of thirds, uh, but also putting the rails in the center, symmetric, so to break a little bit the rule of, of, the rule of, of third, um, just to make a mixture. Uh, I'm not gonna be too long, actually, because you can see those really heavy gray clouds are coming towards me. Uh, but that's a really beautiful place to go to not far from the city you have a little bit the noise that's part of it uh, but you have also amazing places and um, and gorgeous and i don't care if the weather is bad i'm going out and i'm enjoying really the show of that amazing place So once again, I repeat, rule of third, one third for the sky, two thirds for the foreground, quite low to guide you inside the image with those rails, symmetric, because I want to really bring you inside and not from somewhere else, really you are in front and then you are stepping in, and quite low and centered. Um, as you can see also, the sky just above the place I'm shooting at now, okay, here it's quite structured, but if I compose like that, it's a little bit, I mean, overwashed by the, by the rain. So that's why I also don't give too much of um, a place to, the, to that sky. And once again, I mean, the, yeah, once I'm, I'm, I'm repeating a little bit myself, but I mean, like, you can see that what is important is those rails without giving them too much importance, but at the same time, times to give them a lot of importance. So it's really difficult sometimes to find the right balance uh, because I can move my camera off a, a couple of centimeters of inches and then the, the image will look totally different. So I'm, I'm I suppose that it's going to be, I hope, a nice shot. Uh, but once again, I have also to, to check it on my computer to be sure that everything is set up as I want it. Uh, we have another plane coming in now. I'm going to also show you where I shoot my last video. So, as I said, that's the Tromsø Island. And if I zoom in here, here right in the center of the image, you can see that little white tower. Uh, actually, it's not that little, but that's where I live. And that's where the lake, the Prestvanet Lake, is um, sitting. And that's where I shot, shot the, the, the last video, talking about the composition and the rule of thirds. So I'm gonna go back here. Yep. And I'm gonna wish you a good end of the day. I hope you enjoyed that uh, little moment uh, in the middle of the clouds and of the, the northern weather. And uh, I see you soon here or somewhere else. Bye-bye.